Welcome back to NHS News. I love the warm weather. Me too. It makes me excited for summer. But sadly, it's not summer just yet. While we wait though, let's check out what's going on today in page one. Universal Music is now back on TikTok. This includes artists like Taylor Swift, Olivia Rodrigo, and Drake. Universal Music began pulling their artist songs from the app at the beginning of February when their contract expired and did not renew due to AI concerns in the music industry and on TikTok. TikTok's new deal with Universal Music will help protect artists and remove AI-generated music. Now let's see what's happening in NHS News. If you're interested in going to Ireland for spring break in 2025, then you should attend the virtual information meeting on May 7th at 6.30 p.m. The meeting link has been sent out in the Canvas announcements. If you have any questions, email Mrs. Fodiatis. If you read one or more of the Rosie books this year, please stop by the library to collect your prizes. If you read five Rosie books, you can qualify for a pizza party. Make sure to check ratings to make sure your books count. A new Around the County episode is out now. Go behind the scenes of the NHS Clue Spring Play and get introduced to Discus and Shop Put State Champion Hannah Alexander. Go to our YouTube at NHS News or our website, MillerMediaNow.org. Now let's check out what's trending today. A mystery man in New York gathers a crowd of thousands while easily eating 700 cheese balls in 30 minutes. He puts up signs around the city and posted videos leading up to a stunt trying to gather a crowd. He hid his identity with an orange ski mask while eating the hundreds of cheese balls and is now known as the Cheese Ball Man. I don't think I could ever eat that many cheese balls, but let's make our way to meetings. A mandatory unified cheer callout will be held on May 8th at 2.40 during AL and another at 6 p.m. in the main cafeteria. To attend the 6 p.m. meeting, enter through Gate 1. For further questions and a pass, contact Mrs. Wheeler or Mrs. Thompson. Sadly, our new segment is over. Is it summer yet? Not yet. We've got to head over to the best segment, sports. What's up, Millers? Welcome back to Fine Arts Friday. If you're interested in joining Noblesville's Color Guard, email Eric Thornberry for further information. Also, if you're interested in joining Marching Man, the signups are out now. Go check them out. Next up, the vibrant Victoria Row. Boom. Hi, I'm Victoria Rowe, and I'm an art student here at Noblesville High School. I've been doing art since I could hold a pencil or a pen. This is a collage work I did about my Nana. She's very important to me. I did this drawing and painting based off of a photo of her in the late 70s, um, and I just wanted to center her around who she is and colors and things that reminded me of her. The best thing about the Noblesville High School Art Department is the teachers and staff are so, like, like they have such a genuine love and passion for art, and they've given me so much freedom and lean way for, like, being able to do what I want with art, and Miss Han specifically, she's been such a great, like, inspiration and role mo model as an art teacher, and, like, she just really is, like, go for it, and it's really let me, let my creativity flow and produce more art that's more genuine and heartfelt to who I am. This is a screen printed piece. It, these are fortune cookies and I have a really big thing about fortune cookies. I collect fortunes and I'm making a glass top table for my house one day. Um, and it's just about like self love and finding like happiness and love within yourself. I am currently committed to IU. I'm going to IU for um, comprehensive design, which is like graphic design and design where it's like intertwined with um, human interaction. So, and I'm planning on double majoring in marketing as well. That was flipping amazing. That's all we got for you this week. Catch you next week. Welcome back to sports. We finally made it. Let's get into it and hear all about our amazing Miller Athletics. On Tuesday night, your Lady Millers placed fourth at the HCC Conference Track Meet. The Millers were led by Hannah Alexander, who won and set meet records in both discus and shot put. Summer Rempe won the 800 meter run and Delaney Teachner won pole vault. Their next meet is the county meet on Tuesday at home. 
The girls' tennis team defeated Mount Vernon at home last Wednesday 4-1. Bella Duncan scored 6-love. Shout out to Ali Stan for winning with a score of 7-5 in one match and 6-4 in number two singles. Josie Flincham, Ava Shoemaker, and Jade Stam all came back from a set down to win their matches. Great job, girls. The Miller softball team fell to Hamilton Southeastern 5-4. Gabby Fowler was the first lead scorer at the top of the first, then Reese Newsom at the top of the third inning. It was a close game, but sadly it was not in their favor. Make sure to attend their next game, May 6 at 5.30 at Yorktown High. The girls lacrosse team played HSC this week with both varsity and JV black winning. They play next at Zionsville on Tuesday. Now let's cross over to pro sports. The 150th Kentucky Derby is this Saturday, May 4th. Some of the 22 horses you want to look for are Doorknock, Sierra Leone, Mystic Dan, Catching Freedom, and Catalytic. This historic one and a quarter mile race will have MLB player Jason Worth's horse competing as well. Let's race to sports tonight. Here's our Miller Sports this weekend. Tonight, boys baseball will play HSC away at 7 p.m. On Saturday, the girls tennis team hosts the HCC con tournament at starting at 9 a.m. The unified track team will compete in the HCC meet away at Franklin Central at 11 a.m. The boys golf team will compete at Prairie View at 1 p.m. And the boys baseball team has a double header against Avon at 12 and 2 with both games at home. Come out to support your Miller Athletics tonight and Saturday, unless you're still hiding from your senior assassin. My favorite segment is over. But you can check out more on MillerMediaNow.org or at our YouTube channel, NHS News. Peace. Peace.